Today's presentation is about understanding motor nameplate. A motor nameplate is a piece of metal plate attached in the motor's body that contains some basic information about the motor. NEMA or National Electrical Manufacturers Association is the North American standard for electric motors. This standard defines some basic design and dimensional parameters which are coded in the motor nameplate. This is an example of a motor nameplate for a one horsepower electric motor. The question is, do we all know how to interpret all of the data written in this piece of metal plate? Today's presentation will discuss the importance of all this data. What does all that extra information means? Okay, the following information provides a brief definition and some application considerations regarding motor data on the nameplate. So, the first parameter or data we will discuss is the voltage, normally denoted by letter U or V. This data tells you at which voltage the motor is made to operate. The motor's power factor, efficiency, torque and current are at rated voltage and frequency. When the motor is used at other voltages other than the voltage indicated on the nameplate, its performance will be affected. In this example, the rated voltages of this motor are 208 to 230 volts and 460 volts. This means, this motor can be operated with low voltage and high voltage depends on the leads connection that will be discussed later. Next, is frequency denoted with HZ or Hertz? Usually for motors, the input frequency is 50 or 60 Hertz. If more than one frequency is marked on the nameplate, then other parameters that will differ at different input frequencies have to be indicated on the nameplate as well. Frequency means number of full rotations per second and times of electrons change directions per second time. For example, 50 Hz means 50 full rotations per second and electrons change directions 100 times per second. In this example, the frequency of 60 Hz means 60 full rotations per second and electrons change directions 120 times per second. Phase the number of phase represents the number of AC power lines supplying the motor. For example, in single phase motor, you will notice that the number of conductor supplying the motor has line 1 and line 2. In this example, 3 phase means the motor is supplied by 3 wires. Line 1, line 2 and line 3. Current. This data is denoted by FLA, amps, or running amps. Full load amperage. FLA, refers to the motor's rated current at rated load and rated voltage. This is the amount of current the motor will draw from the electrical system when producing its rated output horsepower. In this example, the nameplate tells two data. One is 3.8 to 3.6 amperes and the other one is 1.8 amperes. Since we have two voltage ratings discussed earlier, we will have also two rated full load current per voltage level. For 208 to 230 volts, the rated current is 3.8 to 1.8 amperes. On the other hand, when the motor is supplied by 460 volts, the full load current is 1.8 amperes. Type or model. Some manufacturers use type to define the motor as single phase or polyphase, single phase or multi-speed or by type of construction. For model, there is no standard for this. Manufacturers provide unique model number for their references. For example, when one needs a replacement, we can refer to this data in the nameplate for easy reference. Just take this data and send to manufacturer when you need the same type of motor. Code A letter code defines the locked rotor KVA on APR HP basis. Codes are defined by a series of letters from A to V generally, the farther the code letter from A the higher the inrush current per horsepower. A replacement motor with a higher code may require different upstream electrical equipment, such as motor starters. In this example the code letter of this motor is letter K. So what the code letter K, in the sample nameplate means? NEMA provides table for code letter for AC motor. This table provides data for a locked rotor KVA per horsepower with corresponding code letter. You will notice that in locked rotor KVA per horsepower there's a range of minimum and maximum value. 
this values are multiplied to the full load current of the motor know the minimum and maximum values of inrush current. Inrush current is experienced by the motor during starting. So with this, we can analyze the starting characteristic of the motor. Thus, we can provide proper sizing of motor controller and protection. In the example, code letter K means the motor has an 8.0 to 9.0 locked rotor KVA per horsepower. Here's a sample calculation of defining motor code letter. Let's analyze the given one horsepower motor. Given data. Code letter, K. Locked rotor KVA per HP minimum value equals 8.0. Locked rotor KVA per HP maximum value equals 9.0. This is based on the table given by name a code letter for AC motor. Calculating the locked rotor current or the inrush current. Minimum locked rotor current, inrush at 460 volts. LR minimum equals FLA multiply by locked rotor KVA per HP minimum. LR minimum equals 1.8 amperes multiply by 8.0 is equals to 14.4 amperes. Maximum locked rotor current slash inrush at 460 volts. LR maximum equals FLA multiply by locked rotor KVA per HP maximum. LR maximum equals 1.8 amps multiplied by 9.0 is equal to 16.2 amperes. This means that the starting current of this one HP motor has a minimum and maximum inrush currents of 14.4 and 16.2 amperes, respectively. This is when the motor is started with direct online starters. We can use this values to size the controller for this motor. Design letter Differ from the code letter. Design letter covers the characteristics of torque and current of the motor. Design letter such as A, B, C or D defines the different categories. Most motors are design A or B motors. In this example the design letter of this one HP motor is B. This means that, the motor has a normal starting torque and starting current. Design letter B motor typically applied to machine tools and fans. This table provided by name it shows the torque and current characteristics and its typical application. The farther the design letter from A the higher the starting torque and the lower the starting current. Service factor Denoted by SF A motor designed to operate at its nameplate power rating has a service factor of 1.0. This means that the motor can operate at 100% of its rated power. For this example, the service factor of 1.15 means you can operate the motor 115% of its rated power. So, this motor can operate at maximum of 1.15 horsepower that is 115% of 1 horsepower. Insulation class Denoted by insul class is an expression of the standard classification of the thermal tolerance of the motor winding. Each letter corresponds to the winding ability to survive a given operating temperature. Each insulation class has a permissible temperature rise and thermal margin, that when experienced by the motor winding can cause deterioration on its winding insulation. In this example the insulation class B means that the winding of this one HP motor has a maximum of 130 degrees Celsius. In this insulation class. The maximum ambient temperature is 40 degrees Celsius with 80 degrees Celsius permissible temperature rise and thermal margin of 10 degrees Celsius. This means that when this one HP motor is operated with 80 degrees Celsius above its maximum ambient temperature, its winding insulation is degraded. And in long run, can cause motor winding failure. Efficiency Denoted by EFF Efficiency is the motor's output power divided by its input power multiplied by 100. Efficiency is expressed as a percentage. In this example the efficiency of this motor is 77%. This data is used to determine the calculated full load current of a motor when in case the nameplate FLA is not available. For example, full load current is equals to 1 HP multiplied by 746 divided by square root of 3 divided by 460 volts divided by efficiency of 77% divided by power factor of 0.75 is equals to 1.8 amperes, which is equal to the nameplate full load current.
Another usage of efficiency is to determine the input power to provide the rated HP output. That is 1 HP divided by 0.77 is equals to 0.77 HP. Duty, time rating. This parameter defines the length of time during which the motor can carry its nameplate rating safely. Time rating normally level from S1 to S8. In this case the time rating is cont or continuous rating. This sometimes indicated as S1. This means the motor can be operated continuously. If the time rating not indicated in motor nameplate, the motor is designed at S1 or continuous rating. This table shows level of time rating with corresponding name and explanation. For example, for level S1 or continuous duty. This means that the motor works at a constant load through time to reach temperature equilibrium. So what is temperature equilibrium? It means the time that there is no heat transfer occur during that point of operation. RPM data tells you the full load speed of a motor when it's delivering the rated power output. It is actually the speed you can see on the rotor shaft when the motor is running. That's why, it's called rotor speed. This data can be measured by an instrument called tachometer. This data on the motor's nameplate can be used to determine the number of poles the motor has. On this example, 1720 RPM means the motor when running has 1720 revolutions in one minute. So, as said earlier, the number pole can be determined using this speed formula. Ns equals to 120 F divided by P. Where Ns is the speed in RPM, P is the number of poles and F is the line voltage frequency in Hertz. Take a look for this sample calculation. With the given motor nameplate, the full load speed is given 1720 RPM. The frequency is at 60 Hertz. To calculate the number of poles of this motor, we will use the formula discussed earlier that RPM is equals to 120 F over P. Then, the number of poles will be P equals to 120 F over full load speed. We have all the needed data, so we directly substitute it to the formula. Then, number of poles is equals to 120 multiplied by 60 Hz divided by 1720 RPM is equals to 4.186. Thus, this 1 HP motor has 4 number of poles. Having determined the number of poles, we can also calculate the synchronous speed of the motor. What is synchronous speed of the motor? And what is the difference of it from the rotor speed? Synchronous speed of the motor refers to the state of rotating magnetic field. It is also depends from the number of poles and frequency. It is where the motor is theoretically designed. On the other hand, rotor speed or full load speed is the rotor speed when the motor is delivering rated power. Rotor speed will always be slower than the synchronous speed. This difference of speed between the synchronous and rotor speed determines the slip. This slip is very important because without it the motor will not deliver torque. Mechanical output denoted by HP. This data tells you the shaft power of the motor. Also called mechanical output power. Motor normally rated in horsepower or HP there are 0.746 kilowatts in horsepower or HP. In general. Horsepower is equals to the product of the torque and the speed. Hence, HP is equal to the torque in foot-pound multiplied by speed and RPM divided by the constant 5250. Here is a sample calculation to determine the full load torque of a given motor. In our example 1 HP motor, the torque in foot-pound is calculated as HP of the motor multiplied by 5250 divided by speed in RPM. So. Torque in foot pound is equals to 1 horsepower multiplied by 5250 divided by 1720 rpm equals to 3.05 foot pound. This is the rated torque of this 1 HP motor. Table shows rated torque calculation with the given horsepower and number of poles of the motors. Using the synchronous speed, we can estimate the torque of a given motor per HP, for example. A 1 HP motor with 1800 RPM has a 3 foot pound torque. So if you have a 2 horsepower motor with 4 poles, you can assume that its maximum torque be 6 foot pounds. That is 2 horsepower multiplied by 3 foot pound is 6 foot pound. Maximum ambient temperature denoted by max. AMB. As name implies, 
This is the maximum ambient temperature the motor can operate. Above this temperature, depending on the insulation of motor, may cause degradation of insulation life and in long run may cause winding failure. Normally, if this data is not given in the nameplate, it is safe to assume that the motor is rated at maximum ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius for EFF2 motors and 680 degrees Celsius for EFF2 motors. Enclosure denoted by ENCL this data classifies the motor as to its degree of protection and what is the method of cooling. Most common to industry is the ODP or open drip proof and the TEFC or totally enclosed fan cooled. These are examples of motor enclosure. Open drip proof or ODP this type of motor typically does not overheat because of the opening on its motor's casing from which air flows directly over the motor winding. This make this motor more efficient and typically rated with service factor of 1.1 or 1.15. The only disadvantage of this motor is, it's not recommended for outdoor installation and it requires dust-free rooms to prevent entering of airborne contaminant and dust to its open chambers. On the other hand, TEFC or totally enclosed fan cooled motor has a totally enclosed chambers and cooled by an external fan normally a fan blade connected to its non-drive end shaft. This type of motor is highly recommended in outdoor installation. Frame This data tells you a lot of information if the motor is nearly standard. The data is normally given by the NEMA frame designation. You can refer to NEMA table of frame designation which is available over the internet to interpret this data. Frame designation contains frame dimension such as foothole mounting pattern shaft diameter and the shaft height from foot to the center of the motor shaft. This is very important data for the installation of such motor. For example, this one HP motor has a frame number of 143T. To interpret this, the first two digits is the D dimensions in NEMA table, which is the distance from center of shaft to the center bottom of mount. To determine this dimension, the first two digit which is 14 is divided by 4 equals to 3 and half inches. The letter T on the frame number means that the motor is of the 1964 and later T frame vintage. Other motor dimensions of this motor can be determined by referring to NEMA frame designation chart. Bearings Though NEMA does not require it, many manufacturers supply nameplate data on bearings. This is because they are the only true maintenance components in an AC motor. This very important data especially for the maintenance personnel. Some big motor bearing required proper lubrication for proper maintenance. In this example, 6205 ZZ bearing for both drive and opposite drive end, means a ball bearing, double seal with 25mm bore and 52mm outer diameter. Wiring Connection this data tells you how the motor is to be connected depends on the number of motors leads out. Typically, motor is connected in star or Y configuration for low voltage and delta for high voltage configurations. In this example, when the motor is supplied by a 230 volts, the motor should be connected Y or star. On the other hand, when the motor is supplied by a 460 volts source, it should be configured to delta. Not doing so may cause the motor to draw high operating current and may cause motor failure. Power factor denoted by PF or cosine theta power factor is an expression of the ratio of active power, W, to apparent power, VA, expressed as a percentage. This data indicates the percentage of useful energy from the total energy. When the motor runs at low power factor the efficiency of the motor is affected. Meaning, there's a lot of losses in the performance of your motor. Did you know that power factor of the motor is lower when it is operating underloaded? Yes, this is true and this power factor reduces when the motor is less than 75% of its rated load. It is best practice to keep the motor runs at a power factor of 85%. Thank you for watching. There are three types of people in this world. Those who make things happen. Those who watch things happen. And those who wonder what happened. If this video helps you, please subscribe, like and share this video.